Let's do this quick and painful. Ah, the child of Ball has awoken. It is time for more... experiments. The pain will only be passing. You should survive. Interesting. You have much untapped power. Do you even realize your potential? More intruders have entered. They act sooner than we had anticipated. No matter, they will only prove a slight delay. Well, that's gratitude for you. You aren't going to abandon me here, are you? We have to stay together. I... I feel it. Quickly, we must get out of here before whoever did this returns. I swear, traveling with you is never dull. This group is yours to reform as you see fit, though dropping me. Ah, Minsk will be free! These bonds will not hold my wrath! Butts will be liberally kicked in good measure! The bars! Ooh! Ooh! Oh, you are a smart one! I understand now! You said what you did just to get me mad! Mad enough to break free! Ha <laughs> ha! You are as smart as Boo sometimes! Boo needs to know. Did you want us to remain with the group? Ho oh, there! Blue, the demigoddess of immortal bards, told me you could use a little assistance in here. So I took a break from uh, destroying the denizens of the hells and reckless wayward plane hopping to drop in and see if I could lend a hand. I'm Jasper St. Baird, her favorite love slave, and I am at your service.
Right. Will do. To the exit it is. Otak. Ileski. Onra. Abra. Kadabra. Sesame. Oh, hell. Let's just skip all that spell-casting gibberish, since we all know it doesn't really do anything but waste time. Well, here we are. Here's all the items you would have picked up, along with the gold you would have gotten for slaying all the goblins and for toting every piece of crap equipment down here out. Oh yeah, have some experience pieces too. They're good for the heart. By the way, uh, some dryad chicks would be very appreciative if you'd take their acorns to the Windspear Hills so they can quit being Arenicus's harem. Feel like accepting? That's a lot of stuff. Now make sure Your you didn't drop any of it. Arenicus kept an awful lot of crap lying around for the taking. Nothing worse than a sloppy villain. Heh. <laughs> All right, then. That's all for me. Now Mistress Blue sends her regards, and good luck, because you'll likely need it. Anyway, I have a bailer to kill by three, and by five I need to attend to a certain demigoddess's massage. I should be a god by next week, though. I hear I'll probably see you there sometime. Remember, love bards, unless they're that hair de lease jackass. Ciao. I carry too much as it is. Your item's on the ground. The tunnel slopes upward into the welcome glare of daylight. Such is your relief that you barely notice the debris at your feet. The remnants of a battle fought only moments before. Surveying the carnage, you hear a scream of rage, and a massive explosion collapses the passage behind you. The sounds of combat greet you as you struggle to your feet. The fight, it seems, is still going strong. You dare to attack me? Do you even know who you You will suffer! You will all suffer! So, God child, you have escaped. You are more resourceful than I had thought. You're not going to torture us any longer. Torture? Silly girl, you just don't understand what I'm doing, do you? I don't care what you're doing. Let us go! I won't let you leave, not when I'm so close to unlocking your power. We don't want anything from you. Enough! I will no longer listen to the babbling of ignorant children. This is an unsanctioned use of magical energy. 
All is Must I be interrupted at every turn? Enough of this! This mage's power is immense. We must overcome him. Enough! I haven't the time for this. You will cease your spell casting and come with us. Your pathetic magics are useless. Let this end. Even if we fall, our numbers are many. You will be overwhelmed. You bore me, Mageling. You may take me in, but you will take the girl as well. What? No. I've done nothing wrong. You have been involved in illegal use of magic. You will come with us. I'm not going with him. I'm not. Help me. Please. It is important. Well, you look like the sort who has more than two gold pieces to rub together. For the glory of arm! So, I was thinking me... Well, now, that'd be right amazing. But this be not the best. Why don't I take you there right now? Cool! Come with me, then! Cool! It's good to be seeing you once... Aye, I'll be doing that as quick as you blink. I'll tell you straight that I know a powerful group that can be helping you. But they can be doing far better than the telling, my friend. They can also affect a rescue of your last to boot. The deal is made, and you have a goal, albeit a distant one. Your new friend has assured you that passage to Imoan can be bought. Though you are certain the final tally will include much more than gold. Any help is welcome, however, and while the cost may be steep, your path is clear. Finding Imoan will lead to Irenicus and to answers long overdue. These are the prisoners from the disturbance at Joaquin's promenade. What is known? Not but their names. The mage is John Irenicus. The girl is Emowen. I didn't do anything... Silence, child. Allow the fool to make his judgment. Why was this man not gagged? Did he not slay four of you? We dared not approach. Uh, regardless, in the end, he came willingly. What should be done with them, sir? They are deviants. Let them rot in Spellhold. Wow, an 
adventurer. Desperate imprisoned friends. You are still alive and enjoying at Cut Strangers. Perhaps you have more courage than the worms that frequent this pit. Is anyone willing to hear my plea? Anyone? You all know me. I've helped some of you. Is this the thanks I get? I've helped lots of your kind. You there. I would have a word with you. Word has come to me of your actions. I see you as capable and headstrong, with the ability to handle what Harris told you. Just the type of creature that I am looking for. I would speak with you. I need help. I need help getting Hexat. My name was... is... Hex... Well... Hmm. Hello. Oh, one is always able to provide entertainment. I got some cheap beer for ya. Life's been getting prickly on me, Ars. You! Have you seen my husband? I know he's in here somewhere! Declare yourself. Rumor! Rumor! <laughs> darling. Don't you darling me! You will come home with me this very instant! Yes, dear. No, you can't have him. He's mine. Citizen. Well met and welcome. Be merry, friend. Oh, 
Hm. Be merry, friend. For the glory of arm. Who are you? Are you interested in purchasing a bit of merchandise, my friend? I trust all is well. There goes a truly evil man. Uncle Scratchy seems... Well, are we to separate on this note? I am one of the few who are chosen. What you want?
I carry too much as it is. Your item's on the ground. Good day to you. A dream. A dream of many things, don't they? Do you remember these doors? Yes, this was my home for so long. But it is too... Someone else does. He wants something. I... I don't know why. Those in the cows don't even know. Do you remember Gorion? They were the guidance. You are far away. Too far away to help. I don't remember any of you. <laughs> Do you remember Saravok? They sought your death and mine. They seem something else is more dangerous. Do you remember me? She resists. She clings. It is a portrait of what has happened and what may happen. You feel the potential within. You know what you want. It is you, after all, which has brought us to the dream. Nothing is real.
Life. This, this is not to be contested. It seems logical enough. You live, you affect your world. But is it what you need? You are different inside. This woman lives and has strength of a soul. She lost her parents to plague, her husband to war, but she persevered. Her farm has prospered, her name is respected, and her children are fed and safe. She lived as she thought she should. And now she is dead. The land will be divided, her children will move on, and she will be forgotten. She lived a good life, but she had no power. She was a slave to death. I wonder if you are destined to be forgotten. Will your life fade in the shadow of greater being? You are born of murder, the very essence of that which takes life. Yes, understand what is available to you. In Cactus Pulcan. When the opportunity comes, accept the gifts of followers our meeting. Heyo, I welcome you to Trade Meet. Trade Meet has been here for generations, but now we are harassed from the strangest of sources. What I would have you do is escort him to his task, or see to it yourselves, whichever you prefer. We can use whatever help we can get these days. Well met to you. I am cerned, though my identity is surely no secret after the fuss I have caused here.
rather outlandish folk to be wandering round here. The correct way to go be moronic. You must struggle. Through struggle, we grow stronger. Only the strong survive. And I am not your brother. Be gone, commoner. I have my own business to attend to. I need a swig of some strong dwarven ale. good for you to watch your actions while in this wood. Your investigations have been fruitful. Let us examine them for possible solutions to this regrettable situation. Speak what you have learned of the local druids. How are they tainted? <laughs> well, what have we here? Some fool come to... I am stronger than ever with the aid of this grove. No harm can come to me here. Such bonding rituals are around the time they draw energy from the earth itself. But the mother... The scourge has been purged. I can tell that the deed is done, for even now the land sighs relief. This has been a great service to nature, and she shall not forget. We are in your debt for whatever you did. I thank you, and trade me thanks you.
Citizens of Trade Meet, we are gathered here today to honor the heroes of our small town. They have not only stopped the assault of nature upon us by removing the evil druid that had taken over our local grove, but have also spared us from the recent domination of the genies. You are once again free to walk the streets of Trade Meet, and new caravans have already been hired to bring supplies to our local merchants. It is good to know that even though we do not have our beloved Joaquin looking out for us, we still have people like this who we can turn to in a time of need. From this day forth, I declare that these companions be known as the heroes of trade meat. Bravo! Bravo! Here, here! You have saved us all! Oh, yes. Most excellent work, hero. Indeed! You will always be welcome here. You are a true hero who has shown true valiance to my people. I thank you and hope that the gods smile on your journeys. Greetings to you. I'm Lady Lilith Lorexel, the head of the noble family that founded this town long, long ago. I... It is pleasing to know that there are heroes of real metal here in Trade Meet, ones with both courage and ability. Please, if you are interested in the reward for performing such a task, do come and speak to me at my mansion. Hmm. I see that that vicious harpy has already pounced upon... I am Lord Skarme and Ali Bakar. And it is my family that founded trade meat, not hers. So I greet you in the name of the town. No doubt Lady Lilith has asked you to perform a service for her. If you are foolish and work for the Loraxols, however, you will not be welcome in my home. Ah, uh, I'm sorry they chose to involve you in their schemes. The Loraxols... Be careful in your dealings with them. That's all I can say. I have here a reward that the town merchants have gathered for you. We only seek to know if you have... You risk injury if you come any closer, my misguided friend. You have forced my hand. I have more important business than this to attend to. They've got a point. Not touch me. Speak and be done with it. Rumors of ancient ruins and incredible treasures often reach the ears of the party as they travel the length of the Sword Coast. 
but no tale is so lucrative as that of Watcher's Keep. The ruin still stands, it is said, and a religious order known as the Knights of the Vigil have made a call wide and far for heroes to aid their dangerous cause. Details are scarce, and curiosity leads the party quickly to the glade of the keep itself, a deserted place that whispers in the wind of the most ancient evils. Ah, the child of Baal has come! We had hoped that our call for aid would draw you here. Praise to the Watcher for hearing our prayers. Here, we are atop the ancient prison at last. Before us is the entrance into its first level, the first obstacle towards reaching the lower vault. As always, the pleasure is mine. Hello, friends. Might I? Well, truthfully, it is not. She has watched you for a time. She is worthy of your trust. If you... I need tell her nothing. She will know when you are... Wow, an adventurer. Stand. You rest each night uneasy. Yes, it will not end, you know, until you acknowledge what you are. You walk as a mortal, taking no advantage from your heritage, from your talents within. So walk among them, these beasts that are less than you are. See their strength, see how easily you forge their muscle and skin. Why do you stand for this? Why do you submit to the flesh when death is... Do you realize the power you might hold? When the world of flesh is beneath you, even creatures mysterious and magical will fall. Follow and receive the gift you are owed. Follow, if only to protect the weak that fell because of you. you are you must flee this place at once he's he's killed everyone else who was oh, I am a simple woman
You... you had the key! Or, or rather, the sword! Please, please give it to me, and I can make my hands! My skin, it's real again! Thank you, Bailfar. I am here to serve. My other beasts shall strike them down. If not, the task shall fall to you, my shades. The circus now truly begins. And welcome. No trouble out of you. Good customer. A pearl to you. 